Hello and welcome, I am Gary and Reaver and these are my first impressions of Going Medieval. This is an early access colony builder where you build a, a large fortress and then defend yourself against things that want to kill the people inside the large fortress. I bought this because I thought it just looked really cool and it seemed to be reviewed well. This was also voted for by my patrons. If you want to have your say on future first impressions, check out my Patreon linked in the description. All patrons get a vote. After I really enjoyed Foundation, the last uh, city builder I played on the channel, uh, this seemed like a really good bet, so let's give it a go. Also, before we get started, uh, in the options, in camera settings, coyote time. I don't know what that is, but I had to call it out. Standard, peaceful and survival. Uh, enemy raids, environmental things, um, no enemy attacks, frequent raids. Yeah, let's go with this one. Normal difficulty, a new life, lone wolf, or, ooh, custom scenario. Uh, each settler has a story about the past they left far behind, but now this tattered group has a common goal, to build a home together. The settler starts alone with meager resources. So this is a bit of a um, Rimworld vibe from the scenarios, but let's go with a new life. Settlement name, heraldry, map type, ooh. Cool that you can put in like custom heraldry by the look of it. But I am going with, uh, I was going to go with Reaver, but instead we're going to go with Solstraith, which is the uh, kingdom I came up with for the 100 kingdoms in Conquest, which is uh, something over on my tabletop channel. I'll link the miniature games in the description. We'll go with a valley, plentiful vegetation, fertile soil and clay, moderate amount of limestone, lesser amounts of iron and salt. No idea how important any of that is. We'll go with a medium map, because I don't like to go with small ones. And uh, yeah, sure, begin. Oh yeah, wow, this is very um, Rimworld. Culinary, uh, botany, speech craft, construction. I don't know how important any of this stuff is. Lightweight, punch drunk. Sorry. So she can't hold her drink, she'll doze off, but if you drink with her, she'll get very angry. So she'll get angry and then fall asleep. Ah, there's full customization. Whereas in RimWorld, you, uh, you're you limited in what you can do without mods. As I don't really know how important any of this stuff is, the only thing I'm changing is I'm renaming uh, the guy to Cast of Brawn. Standard, a new life valley oh yeah sorry this is the summary yes show me tutorial tips the plague has ravished the british isles leaving a trail of destruction in his wake untold millions went to an early grave and those left standing were plunged into poverty brutally scarred by the horrors that they'd witnessed nothing would ever be the same again in the springtime of the year 1353, Gunhilda, Caster, and Quenhilda, I should have renamed them so that I could pronounce the names properly, set off into the wilderness to claim a piece of land as their own, as was their right in the eyes of God and under the law. Here they may lay down the foundations for some kind of future. Perhaps hope will follow. Caster is confident, defiant even. We will make this world, we will take our share of land and we will build there, and we will defend it. Many have tried, some have fallen, beset by bandits, defeated by drought, yet many have also prevailed. Have faith, the place we found will stand centuries from now, our descendants will be there still. After many travails, they arrived in a valley with golden plains cut through by a snaking river. For Gwen, it conjured visions of bountiful harvest, song and wine, a place to put down roots, a homeland. They decided to call it Solstraith. I like how... Uh, Gunilda is the only one who doesn't play a part in this beginning tale. Okay. Oh, welcome to Going Medieval. Please bear in mind that the game is under heavy development. The game will have bugs. Camera controls. Wazd. Mouse wheel. Yep. World layers. You can shuffle between layers and building floors. Wow, okay, so the entire world has layers. Game speed. One, two, three. And a pause. Good. Is there any chance I can rename them? I was going to go with Mrs. Gunderson, but there is apparently there's not enough room for that. So we have Gwen and Mrs. Gunder and Caster. Cool. Uh, nowhere to store resources. Settlers are idle. What do I do, game? Tutorialize me, please. No? Okay. Base. Uh, production. Furniture. Leisure. Restitutionist Shrine. The Church of Restitution. Okay. Unmarked Grave, yeah, that's helpful. Warfare and Zone. Stockpile. So far, so Rimworld. Yes, 
put things in this particular bit of ground and not in this particular bit of ground. Actually, why am I doing that? I'm just going to put the default stockpile exactly where it is so that it doesn't need to... <laughs> they don't need to spend half an hour bloody moving things. All right, Caster is now chopping down a thing. All right, so what have we got? We've got a very Minecraft-esque blocky river because this whole world is voxel like in one of the uh, things on the store page i saw like a catapult destroying a wall and it just collapsed into blocks which is pretty cool tutorial schedule you can set the schedule to modify the time of day they should do different types of activity is this rim world is this fantasy multi-story rim world because if it is i'm i'm cool with that Use the Manage panel to determine which items your settlers will auto-equip, what food and alcohol they're allowed to consume, etc. Very nice, very nice. The Job panel lets you prioritise... This is. I'm just going to stop referring to this as RimWorld, but just assume that um, I'm thinking it. Issue orders with your settlers with the order tools. Uh, try selecting the Chop tool, order tool. Ah, here we are. Chop. Yes. Chop these trees for me, uh, plebs. Chop, chop. They'll need somewhere to live, place some wooden walls with the base panel uh, in a rectangle and then adding a wooden door and a thatched roof. What was that? So that's clay and then soil. So I probably don't want to build on clay. So let's go with a wooden wall. I don't have enough wood, but that's okay. I will. Uh, and then finish that off. Put in a wooden door and a thatched roof, like so, to make a terrible little hovel. Get to work. Control and mouse wheel to go through layers. Oh, yeah, so it's got the layers up here. I guess because this isn't built, it doesn't count as layers. Hide roof elements, hide treetops. Okay, that makes it easy to see. Color grid for zones. Item indicators. Group things in resource panel. That's good. Sure rooms. Aesthetic heat lamp. Heat map. <laughs> Show me your aesthetic heat lamp, peasant. I wish to bathe. What? And then sleeping spots. Oh, you need hay. You're not allowed to just sleep on the floor. God, what would you take them for? Peasants? There. Let's put three of those. Uh, well, I assume we'll find hay somewhere, right? Do we have sticks? Do we have hay? What do we have? We have hay. So why do you say you don't have enough head? Hay. Wood? Hmm? It appears we seem to have captured a goat. Uh, he is now our... She, sorry, is now our goat and her name is Luna. Oh. They may, she may have been our goat before. Again, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> oh, their bloody marks as do not touch. Oh, God. RimWorld. Why does RimWorld do this as well? RimWorld does the exact same thing. It's like, here are all your starting materials scattered across the world. No one's allowed to touch them, though. Why not? Oh, sorry. I keep expecting it to, like, be a diagonal like that, but it's not. It's a diagonal in line with the world, which is this sort of angle. Yeah, there we go. Now they can make all that, that delicious thatch. Yay, Gwen Smither Construction. Sounds like a company. Uh, get a room, build an enclosed room. Fantastic. Uh, shared chamber. Oh, there are tutorials up here I did not see. Yep, construction. Uh, yep. And relocate structures. Smaller structures like furniture could be re easily relocated. What's this giant 13 hour? Is that the time? It's Probably the time. Wow, Mrs. Gunder is really just going for it, isn't she? Let's designate some harvest to get some delicious berries. And I should... Oh, Astral! Oh, we have a cat called Astral. Cannot be targeted by predators for another two hours. Fantastic. That's what I like to hear about my, my pets. And let's put in another structure. Oh, harvest five crops. Having a field day. Uh, I don't know what tone this game is going for. I'm assuming it's sort of a, um, uh, like a comedic tone because it's called Going Medieval. So, I mean, that's all I'm basing it on, but the uh, achievement names are sort of backing that up. It won't let me build the roof there, but that's okay. That's, I guess, outside of it. Can I just stick a roof there? Just because I don't want the wall to feel left out, you know? And then now that this is almost done, let's set another 
stockpile in shade. Can I get the whole thing? Oh, the camera angle's a little bit awkward. There. Alright, so this one, uh, flimsy to flawless. This one is um, medium priority. So hopefully they should shifty all of these things from in this one into this one, and therefore um, harvest ruined. Good job, Mrs. Gunder. Uh, yeah, so hopefully they'll just shift them all in there so that um, it's a lot more stable. Safe, that one. And it's cool that it tells me what they're doing, getting resources, hauling, and constructing. Uh, let's have a look at their schedule. So at the moment, they sleep 11 to 5. Let's put them having, having work from 9 till 6. And leisure. Sure, a two-hour leisure period there. Speaking of which, I should probably give them something leisurey. Uh, would you like a backgammon table? Can rotate. There. Food reserves on stockpile low. Okay. I mean, we have a deer carcass. Does that help? A production butchering table. Campfire. All right, let's also have a campfire. And I'm probably going to need a butchering table. I'll put that outside for now. How am I doing on food? I'm likely to just leave this open. Stimulants. Ale, cool. Raw, load of berries, and we've got five packaged meals. What up, Gwen? What's wrong with you? Sleep, competent. What does that mean? Um, schedule, leisure. Yep. Log, no. Happiness, here we are, mood. Initial optimism, low expectation, in, uh, entertainment needs fulfilled because of the backgammon table. Ate a nice meal, drank good ale. A little bit tired because she drank the ale. Why is Gunder Green? Uh, mood? No, it's not because of the mood. Why is Mrs. Gunder Green? Pseudonym the Bone Setter Brewer. Okay. Nobody asked Mrs. Gunder why she's called that. I've just realised Mrs. Gunder is her first name, so she's Mrs. Gunder Ridge. And now I can get rid of this outside stockpile, so we only have the meals to move. Survived the first day. Fantastic. Set the only stockpile left to low, and rename it to a main storage. Ah, production. Start producing something, select a workstation, add a product from the production list. Set the number of products you want your settlers to make. Until you have, they'll continue to produce if they have material. Uh, meal, animal feed. Well, let's go with meal. Uh, until you have ten. Uh, there are only three of us. Let's go with nine, because I like to have three. Uh, this one. Raw meat. Forever! Production speed 80% because it's outside. I'll also stick a research table there so that uh, we can start doing that stuff. Fish. Cancel. Ooh. Animals are hungry. Okay. What, 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 what do animals eat? Train, slaughter, release. Apparently there's a dev menu. Are they dev goats? Animal feed. 20 vegetables, 10 hay. Uh, all right, do that until you have 10, I guess? Where does one find vegetables? What are these? Clay piles. Ah, here we are, I found the wall level. So it's actually really quite low. So 16 is in the sky, it's not, um, <laughs> I thought 16 was like ground level, but no, it goes the other way. A medium map isn't huge, but I guess it's sort of comparable to, um, you know, other other games. Uh, research. Unlock new building options and production types in the research panel. Various forms of knowledge in the form of books are available to research. Uh, you will not consume books. Take care of your books if they're destroyed or stolen. Okay. Uh, can I grow things? Is that an option? Cut plants. Urgent haul. Harvest. Mine. Hunt. I see no growth. Is that something I have to learn? It is. Agriculture, right there. Architecture. It's amazing that I need to learn um, what a wooden beam is before I can grow things. For sure. Get to work on that. Uh, unlock first research item. Oh, is that just free? Oh, it is just free. Okay, cool. So I had... What, 20? 20, 25? I had, yeah, I had 25. 
Farming, sow crop fields to ensure a steady supply of food for the upcoming winter. Choose a crop from the grow sorry from the zone panel and then drag it to the required size. These um these little tutorial videos uh they they keep <laughs> they keep going blurry. That's odd. Like that. Yeah. Probably want to capture those in a higher quality. You need the appropriate supply of seeds and saplings to sow. Interesting. All right, that is one difference. That uh, in RimWorld you essentially do just get endless ev anything you want. So these need red currants and these need cabbage seed. What does I have? I have thirty fives cabbage. Uh, two birch, three sorry, three birch, two oak, and four maple. And I believe I also have the red currants. So let's grow. Oh, 16 days and 11 days. Yikes. Uh, how long's a year? Season is 12 days each. Okay. Yeah, so that's another big difference. Okay. Let's get the biggest cabbage field we actually can make. And also a red currant field too, please. Uh, schedule? Jobs. No, jobs. Here we are. I think that's the best I can do with the priorities. Uh, food reserves are low. Goody. Still not sure what I can do about that. Animals are still hungry. Still also still good. At least Mrs. Gunder is cooking now. Oh, produce a meal at a campfire. Um, are we done with the building work? It appears we are out of hay. Hmm. Let's get cast to put, to put on the gambeson. Uh, I feel I should equip them better. And take the sturdy spear. Gwen gets the sword. Mrs. Gunder gets the bow. I don't think there's any more armor in here. I find it funny that because of the size of the square, they stand on the one they're working and hoe the one next to it. And that magically does it. That's a bit weird. There was another fantasy RimWorld-esque game I played called uh, Noble Fates which did a similar thing in that it was like about multiple uh, tiers and building up and it was it was very very similar in in a lot of ways but i couldn't get along with it because it was too silly like you at, at the time wow that's really really blinding um at the time you couldn't like change names you couldn't change so many customizable things that should have been customizable and i think a lot of them have been changed now and i should go back and check it but this seems like a more sort of a more distilled thing this is going for the essence of that rather than the silliness something this should have is something that um, RimWorld sort of needs a thing on here to show where in the schedule you are like I know it says there but it's it's just like a little thing that you just need to add to make it that tiny bit easier cutting grass and drying it for the winter is the best way to feed your animals Okay, how do I get that? I assume that's why the animals are hungry. Because I don't have any hay, but... Is that in here? I don't see it. Oh, tall grass. Sorry, I thought this was like wild wheat. I was ignoring it because I didn't think I could actually do anything with it. But if I cut this, that should yield me a load of hay, right? Ah, oh, no, I think the reason an animal's hungry is because... Um, Luna in here can't get outside. If I set this to keep open... Luna? Can someone take Luna outside please? She clearly she needs to be outside. Alright good, Luna's outside now. Alright, keep that back to default. So yeah, that was all it was. She just couldn't get outside because she wandered in when we were building the place and no one let her out. Ah, you need to produce stuff here. Sorry, it didn't click that uh, the research thing actually needed to, to, to do stuff. So that'll be why no one was researching. Tutorial mood. Mood represents happiness. Be sure to check on their mood. A low mood is bad. If it is zero, they will leave. Okay, no mental breaks then. Everybody's mood is pretty good apart from Mrs. Gunder. Slept in an uncomfortable bed, deprived of religious activity. Let's build. Uh, let's, let's, I saw a religious thing. Where is it here? Followers aligned with the Oak Brethren. Followers aligned with the church. What a, What is Mrs. Gunder? I don't know. So I'm going to make a decision for her and say that it is the Church of Restitutionism. 
Also, I can make, th uh, I have enough sticks now to make three beds, which are wicker beds, and therefore better than the hay beds, I assume. Still rudimentary, but uh, not the most comfortable, but beats laying in the hay. Ooh, just rise out of the ground. Ha! Ah. Harvest 50 crops, reap what you sow. How is my roof? Is this roof done? All apart from this one. What's, what's up with this one? Not enough resources. Yeah, that's why we need to uh, collect some more hay. Speaking of which, disassemble, disassemble, and what's that? X, cool. Disassemble those three so that we can move the uh, beds indoors, which is relocate. And there's the roof done. Fantastic. Spare room. Uh, not enough beds. Yes, there are. They're just outside. Green thumb, harvest 200 crops. Fantastic, we have our beds again. Yay, that's another thing done. Hmm. I kind of want to try diverting the course of a river. That sounds fun. Can I do that? So if I set this to be mined, just like, I don't know, here. Four across, and then this shouldn't breach the river. Are they just going to dig like a really big pit here? Because this could revolutionise, like, defence. Digging pits. Is it, okay, I'm going to have to turn those god rays off, because that is... That is obnoxious. Sunbeam's gone. Yeah, that was... That is annoying. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this could revolutionise uh, defence. Has anyone ever tried digging a big hole as a defensive mechanism? I, I think it's, it's genius. Look at that. They're praying together. And I thought Mrs. Gunder and Gwen didn't get along. I don't know why I thought that. That's just my headcanon, really. you got to invent these stories about the people, about the peasants under your command. Isn't that right, Caster? Why are you sad, Caster? What up? Wet and uncomfortable. Well, yes, because you're kneeling in the wet dirt, you knob. I suppose that, that's my fault, but... Whatever. Wow, there's just a bounty of stuff here. Barley... Mushrooms, red shrooms, and f uh, trout shrooms. Set that to fish. Do you need a, a rod, or can you just do that? I assume you can just do that. What, 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 what's, what are you complaining about now, Caster? Come on. Slightly hungry. Come on now. God, everything being bloody marked as do not touch is uh, irritating. It's like there are all these things over here that I don't know are there until I go and look for them, but then you've got to individually say, yes, you are allowed to touch this particular rock. I mean, I guess the idea is to stop them just randomly trekking around. What's this thing? A peasant carcass. Uh, sorry, pheasant carcass. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Gunder now considers Caster a friend because they had a pleasant conversation. Oh, you're so friendly, Mrs. Gunder. Oh, I think she just got some fish. Yeah, I kind of suddenly see why everything is marked as do not touch because, yeah, Caster is having to run across the entire bloody map looking for this stuff. What are they digging up? Dirt pile. Yeah, that's sort of in the way of, of the, uh, the... But look at how deep the trench is. I was a little bit worried that it would be a case of um, you've got to dig out each thing individually, like every block down, but it seems that's like one layer. So that that's a two-layer drop. Yeah, okay, that's, that's a nice simplified system. Ooh. Okay. Initiate bartering. To initiate bartering, select a settler and right-click on the merchant. Lone Traveller. A rangy hawker empties their pack, spreading a selection of oddments on a linen cloth on the ground. I buy and sell things to take my fancy on the road, they say with a crooked smile. Take a look if you like. Sounds very trustworthy. I'd, I'd love to meet him. Where is he? Merchant. Hello. He is Alfred Newbury. Height, 172 metres. Centimeters, bloody hell. Caster, you're the best at talking. Uh, befriend him. What's he got? Uh, tutorial bartering functions by exchanging resources and items. Uh, if you proffer something in return, similar, same or similar value. Giving them more than the value is considered a gift and will uh, make them like you. What do we have then? Ale, apple saplings, astral the cat, Leo, mechanical components. Oh, this is us. We're on the right. Sorry, I thought we were on the left. Um, I'm going to sell you. Can I give you like a load of fish? There should be a um, all. Is there an all? Oh, never mind. Oh, you don't want my dirt. I've got tons of dirt. Like we're, we're literally digging dirt out of the ground, but he doesn't want it. 
Also, I realise now I've got chronicles I didn't realise. Um, can you give me money? Yeah, all right. Take these 30 trout and give me one honey crispel in return. Don't know what that is, but it sounds tasty. Um, yes. Okay, sure, apparently. That we made a deal there. What was I going to do? Oh, yes, uh, research. Research 2 needs 30. 45. Oh, I can't get any of these because they all need... Oh, no. I can't get this one. Why can I not get this one? Not enough books. It says I have 25. Oh, wow. Stuff decays on the ground. Okay. Oh, because it's not a floor, it's just the ground. Can I change the floor? I didn't... Wooden floor. I missed that. Interesting. Wicker grated floor. Horizontal wooden grate allows for ventilation, drainage, and viewing between floors. Let sunlight, rain, and snow through. Ha! <laughs> wow. You just ate like 50 buns. Uh, super fast speed for when everyone's asleep wouldn't go amiss. Because the nights take a while. Gwen now considers Castor a friend because of wonderful conversation. Oh, <laughs> Mrs. Gunder. She does such weird dances when she's building. Way, It's because she does a full run animation between each hit. The Faithful Sons of England merchant. You didn't tell me that, Alfred. You didn't tell me you were part of the Faithful Sons of England as you sprint away weirdly into the forest. Something I've got to mention is that this did the digging of the trench very well. Like, it started with the middle ones and then did the outer ones. And at first I was confused, but of course, if they did the outer ones first, they wouldn't be able to do the inner ones. So it has clever, like, prioritization of uh, build order, which is something that, sorry, I'm going to bring it up again, RimWorld sort of struggles with to this day. You tell them to, like, build a solid block and it'll do the outer ones and then go, but we can't reach the inner ones. And sorry, part of the reason I bring it up so much is because I think RimWorld is, like, my most played game on Steam. It's at least in the top three. I don't exactly recall, but here's uh, here's how long I played that. I wonder if the rain is going to fill up my new swimming pool. Probably not. Probably uh, gets drained away enough. But there we go. That's done. So now we dig away this and let the river in. And we'll see what happens. And I'm half expecting it to just not work. <laughs> Oh, you little kid. Leo, don't eat off my farm. I suppose that's why you can build, um, where was it? Uh, misc, you can build fences, presumably to keep uh, livestock out of your farm. Oh, you can build a sign as well. All right, let's see what happens when you open up, release the river. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Amazing. Ah, oh, I could do so much damage to my own stuff with that. Like, I want to build a basement, because I presumably you can, because presumably you can sort of go down and, like, dig under here. And you can have a basement, you can just flood your own basement. Oh, my sign's ready. I've gone for a nice foot to commemorate the Solstray Swimming Pool, no plebs. And uh, that seems like a pretty good place to call it. This is a much more methodical thing than I sort of expected it to be. I, I didn't expect um, Fantasy RimWorld, but it does it really, really well. Uh, the fact that these take so long to grow, uh, yeah, like, they're, they're much, much slower than, uh, like, RimWorld crops, which are, like, three days for potatoes or whatever. So you do need to plan ahead a lot more, which is just, it's, it's a very good take on it. So I am I'm probably going to be playing some more of this. Let me know if you want to see more of this. And uh, yeah, this is Going Medieval Early Access on Steam. If you enjoyed it, check it out and uh, check out my other. Um, I, actually, are they carving a path there? They might be because they do keep there is a nice diagonal path there. Anyway, um, yes, if you want to see uh, more of City Builders, I've done like um, the Foundation and uh, Noble Fates, which is another RimWorld S fantasy game. So you can go check those out also on my channel. And remember that if you want to have your say on future first impressions, please consider pledging to my Patreon linked in the description. All patrons get a vote. Thank you very much, and I will catch you later from Solstraith. <laughs>